So today we are going to discuss about how to train your subconscious mind for success. Introduction. The subconscious mind is the part of our brain that control our habits, behavior and emotions. It's also called our inner computer. If your subconscious mind isn't working properly, it can lead to unhealthy habits, but there are ways to program this part of your brain so that you can live a happier life. So first of all, what is subconscious mind? The subconscious mind is the part of your brain that controls your body and its functions. It's not directly accessible to your consciousness. So, uh, but it's uh, responsible for many things, including habits, behavior, emotions, and memories. The subconscious mind can be reprogrammed with the new information and belief system, which will change our reality. Hypnosis, meditations, and other techniques such as uh, self hypnosis can uh, help you to access your subconscious mind. How to access your subconscious mind? So how do you access your subconscious mind? The answer is, is in the power of suggestions. Suggestions in the form of, uh, it can be, uh, you know, it can be in the form of uh, mantras uh, as as people uh, in ancient times were do was doing visualizations and there are so many things for that you know so a powerful powerful way to reprogram your subconscious mind is through affirmation affirmations are the statements that tell yourself what you want and needs you can use them either alone or alongside visualization exercise like visualization meditation as i told you which helps you see things as they really are rather than how they seems right now you can also use affirmation during meditation when it comes to accessing information from higher source within yourself Now, how to reprogram your uh, subconscious mind? Your subconscious mind is like a computer. It stores information and can access it just like your hard drive does. It also like a recording device. So when you think about something, the information gets stored in its memory wing for the little retrieval. Your subconscious mind acts as an inbox for all of the things that happens to us throughout our day-to-day -day life. If we see something or hear something while walking down the street or uh, while sitting at work, our subconscious mind will file away those experiences into its inbox so they can be accessed later on by other parts of your brain, like our conscious mind. We often don't realize how much power we have over what goes into this filling system until we realize it. Subconscious mind as a computer. The idea of programming your subconscious mind is not new, but it has gained popularity recent years. The basic concept behind the method is that your thoughts and actions can be influenced by certain cues or triggers. For example, if you want to learn a new skills, such as a how to juggle or play the violin, then these activities need to be practiced over time until they become second mature. The same principle applies when trying to change your behavior. If someone says something negative about yourself, for example, you are stupid or give advice that isn't helpful. Example, just go out uh, there and get some experience under your belt before applying anywhere else. It will only serve as a motivation for them not being able to find employment and eventually staffs because they have no skill set other than being able to write resume all day long uh, without getting fired or have uh, trouble finding jobs. Right. If you have a healthy subconscious mind, you will have a you will live a happy and successful life. In order to live a 
happy and successful life you need to train your subconscious mind it is a part of the brain that controls all the automatic functions the subconscious mind is always working even when you are asleep your subconscious mind control habits and uh, emotions so it's the important for you to understand how it works so that you can make positive changes in our life by using this powerful tool so there are the few more tips that i want to add so that how you can program your subconscious mind for a particular uh, particular uh, particular thing so what you want to achieve in life okay so you know when in the evening uh, in the evening before sleep and when you wake up your subconscious mind is mostly active state it means when you give suggestions along with the along with the visualizations at that point of time with the with very intense emotions you can definitely get what you want by doing that and this is the most powerful way ever existed so use that so use that time to program your subconscious mind for uh, for accomplishing whatever you want to achieve and uh, this is how you can use your subconscious mind so sub subconscious mind uh, for whatever you want to achieve in life let's come to conclusions you don't need to be a genius to access your subconscious mind you can do it by practicing positive staying focused on the goal the key is putting in the work so that any new habit will stick thank you